you know that our school has a rooftop farm? Rooftop farm sounds eco-friendly to the environment. Yeah, I think so too. Maybe we can build a rooftop farm by ourselves. Good idea! Great, when do you want to start a plan? Let's get started right now, from small actions in our daily lives. Oh, Lancaster University has an eco-friendly campus. Maybe we can make our ideas into practice in Lancaster. You're right, but can we really make it come true? We only have two people. Mm, we can connect with the school, government, and residents. Mm, so that then we can make a sustainable campus in Lancaster University. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic and global environment changes, people came up with some plans to deal with it. Uh, ESG criteria, for example, is a good way to measure the sustainability and ethical impact of a company. What is ESG? Oh, it's about time. Let's go and discuss more. ESG is a business method that many companies use today in order to strike the balance between industrial development and our sustainable environment. And E stands for environment. It examines how a business performs as a steward of our nature. I see. So S stands for social, right? Wow, exactly. Not bad, huh? And G stands for governance. It examines how a corporation policy itself and how a company is governed. Mm -hmm. So how can we apply ESG criteria to our plan? We can change the company's character to school and so that uh, we can maintain the environment and it's sustainable and bring economic benefits to the university at the same time. Hmm. Let's go back and check out more information for further discussion. Okay, bye! Bye! Hi! Hi. 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 Hey, you want to tell me more? Good! Let's share our practice together! Okay, okay, let's go! Okay! Our title is inspired by ESG to convey the idea of caring for a sustainable environment. We analyze our motivation by the 5W1H method. It can help us understand the main idea of the project better. This is the original ESG criteria. Instead of considering investment factors, we decide to lay emphasis on the relationship between the school and the society, including repayments to the communities. We divide environment into four different aspects. First, we need to collect enough green building materials and use them on new buildings, and we will introduce the rooftop farm later. Second, on the farm, we use wind power to provide energy to the building. Also, we set up wind turbine light on the whole campus to reduce power consumption. Third, we use rainwater tank to collect rainwater, purify it and reuse it. Finally, there is a variety of waste. All of them can be reused. For food waste, we plan to make it into compost and fertilize the rooftop farm. Paper and plastic waste go through similar processes. After recycling the waste in the bin, we send it to the paper mill or regeneration plant to make recycled products. Lastly, we make them into university merchandise. Let's talk about devices that provide energy. First of all, vertical axis wind power makes low noise and is unaffected by terrain. We plan to use it to power up the rooftop farm, terrain, and the entire building. Wind turbine light can provide lightning for the whole rooftop farm. The water wheel turns and generates electricity by the power of running water. Next, the spinning wheel can charge students' electronic products while exercising. Social space gives the best place for leisure use and group discussion. Next is about the construction of the environment. Firstly, the farmland is for the student to grow plants and do research. These crops can be used in school canteens and the restaurant that we will later introduce. It can also be sent to nearby food banks to help those in need. Rainwater tank can irrigate our farmland and the terrain field, which is used for environmental afforestation. The course project makes the rooftop farm educational. Students can take the courses which are related to their major. Lancaster Institute for Contemporary Arts has to record how the rooftop farm is built by films and edit them into a documentary. The Department of Engineering can help build the basic facilities and control the balance between electricity production and consumption. Management School promotes efficiency of the whole system and bring more economic benefits to the university. 
the Environment Center and Natural Sciences are in charge of researching and taking good care of their fruit and vegetables. Biomedical and Life Sciences and Health Research record the changes of the students after the workout. Green is the world's leading sustainability assessment method for the master planning projects, infrastructures, and buildings. Our goals are reaching the 70% score. We promote industry academia cooperation. Take the first one for example, aside from developing more energy, when the environment major student cooperate with the company, there will be more human resources in the energy industry, and the school employment rate will also increase. At that, the city and university can get bilateral benefits. The best and practical way we thought of to repay the community is to run a vegetarian restaurant. Except for offering ingredients to the cafeteria, we also want the crop harvest to be enough to supply the restaurant with high self-sufficiency. What's more, we take advantage of the power of social media, like initiating an event or hashtag on Instagram. First of all, we should collect and analyze people's ideas. We will do surveys so that we can get the fastest and the most accurate information. Secondly, we have to do international exchange to learn new and professional skills. Last, we may cooperate with the government so that we can strive for some resources. We can also confirm the policies of the friendly environment proposed by the government. These are the goals associated with our plan. We echo the sustainable development goals, which are proposed by the United Nations in response to the current trends. The main part of our project is the rooftop farm, so we allocate 32% of the budget for the facilities of the whole rooftop. The rest of the budget will be distributed equally on the vegetarian restaurant, resource recycling, governance, and industry academia cooperation. Regarding the short-term goal, we intend to make 70% of the school cafeteria food come from the rooftop farm. Also, we are going to make all the school merchandise from the recycled item we mentioned in the past few slides. We also plan to use the generator on the rooftop farm to supply 10% of the electricity of the school building. After improving more capabilities, we hope to develop on a larger scale in the future so that 100% of the ingredients in the vegetarian restaurant and the canteen will come from the rooftop farm of the whole school. Through the cooperation with industry, we expect to increase the employment rate of Lancaster University students. Our ultimate goal is to create our own brand by certifying and developing rooftop farms as the main goal of the project. Dealing with waste will be the priority of this project since it costs less time to make the waste into recycled products than the above text. And making waste into the school merchandise can reach the win-win situation in a short period of time. Step 2. We start to build a rooftop farm because it's a basis of everything in our project. Producing renewable energy. When a farm can offer enough ingredients to the restaurant, we can promote self-sufficiency and make it 2.1 line. Lastly, after we develop our own technology and business model, we can do some international exchange and expansions of the rooftop farms. Let's embrace the sustainable globe. We look forward to making it come true. Let's make it happen and witness it starting in Lancaster.